All right, here, let's go back. There's no sound. Your pantomime shot coming in here. And as you say in your email, there's, this is pudding. She's happy, not so happy. Grabs it anyway, falls. It's a bouncy pudding. And that's that. All right, so looking at this, you, you wrote down an explanation for what is going on. And to be honest, I didn't quite catch that without, I didn't quite understand it without your email. So basically when I was watching this going, okay, she's mad. And this could be like a crime scene. <laughs> like this is something that happened. I don't know if you want to add something. I know this is pudding, but you know, if you had something that spilled or something, whatever it is, it would give us some history, maybe some more context. Maybe the, the pudding is flattened or we can see the pudding here. You know, like where are we? That might help. Right now it just looks like mad that's probably something she did just because i'm a parent and i'm gonna deflect on it's the child's fault <laughs> which i shouldn't but like to me it's like angry she looks at this something happens but we don't quite know what but i'm gonna connect these two that something happened i don't know we don't know quite yet then a person comes in that opens or shows something doesn't quite open anything right just kind of does something we don't quite know what has happened but we don't see anything opening here or holding in the hands. I'm not quite sure what he did. Shows that she looks at it, definitely happy, but then she's mad and I don't know why. So, okay, bit of a snobby girl there, okay? But then she takes it anyway, so now I'm slightly confused. But okay, she grabs it and then it falls out. And then, ah, uh, see to me, not knowing and I'm going to read out what you wrote in the email. But what could be funny is that when she's like this, she would just kind of open her hands and go, ah, oh, like, oh, maybe I grab her hand or like grab the sides of the table and, oh, and this would fall over. And then it would roll next to this. And it's basically, this is version one. This is version two. Like this happened before. And then to me, it would be like, oh, okay. She was clumsy the first time. And now she's clumsy again with the second one. And then maybe he will come back with the third one and then we cut out. You mean like, that's kind of how I would look at this. What you're writing here is that basically the little girl was mad about a guy ate her pudding. So the guy ate the pudding. We have no idea that he did this. The guy came with a new one. Okay, now we can see the little girl was not happy at first because he was the guy who ate her pudding. We have no idea that that happened. But she forgave the guy when she put the pudding on the plate, the pudding fell on the ground. Yeah, so him eating her pudding is just not clear. So it's, it's, you almost need something where this is way too much animation. Don't do it. But in my head, like he would be sitting here finishing this, puts it down. And then, like, mm, you know, like she looks at this, looks at him, looks at this and then crosses her arms. But that's a whole other animation you know, early story of, hey, I'm looking at you, you ate this, I wanted this. But then he would walk away and come back into the scene and then give her this. And then, then I would get it and then it's just a bummer that, that it falls out. But then it's almost, it's almost mean, like he, he ate it and then this still happens. So she still doesn't get it, like she doesn't have a lot of luck. But anyway, so not super clear to me, might just be me, but it, it, I know to me, if that's already a setup there, and imagine she, again, she lets go of this and has some cute acting like she, where she's frustrated and this rolls over. And then at the end, it ends up being here. Uh, maybe, I know, that's, we don't need it. But it would be kind of funny too, because then it shows, oh, that's what happened before. This is why this is here. She is just constantly clumsy and lets this fall out. Might just be me. Anyway, that to me is what I have in terms of kind of the story and what's going on. Silhouette-wise, watch out. We don't quite see what's going on here. Do we need this hand? If so, then I will bring it out here so it's a bit cleaner. I think that's cute and that works. Hmm. <laughs> I think that's really cute. If you do something like this, I see some residual movement in, uh, movement in here, which is cool. But you could probably drop that shoulder, bring the shoulder up and have a bigger twist. Like that head is really twisting her body. I think that arm could kind of lean over. This can come down a bit. It's kind of pushing this so it's not just in here. And then when she grabs that, you know, once you refine this, like a, a proper grab with the fingers, but that's like later on. The tricky thing is here, if she grabs it that closely, I mean, it's a quick move and that's why the thing comes out. 
but it, it's a bit of an intersection there. I'm not sure if that's super clean and how we... Hmm. I'm thinking in terms of how could we have this gag of her taking this. I understand that that quick move is what makes it fall out. It's not like you can move her over and then she holds it more like this. And then we have a cleaner silhouette in terms of an almost profile. But then it wouldn't fall out. It would be a total change where she would be profile and then lifts her arm. She, you know, she brings her her uh, head back to tilt this. But this thing, instead of flopping into her mouth, kind of comes out and then just falls down straight. And she just miscalculated the distance here. And that could be something. I know it's, it's a big change. I don't want to be that destructive. I'm just worried about the size of this pudding how it intersects here. The pudding barely has room to go through, but I do like the bounciness and squishiness through there. It's almost like a cheat. It has to be that squishy to do that. But maybe you can you can do something where she goes, ah, she goes back, but that she brings up the root a bit higher. And then you can, you know, straighten her up a little bit so that her chin is maybe here and then keep the cup here. You know what I mean? Kind of add some distance and straighten her, but by that you would also straighten her arms, which would give more room between the chest and this. That would be my my bigger concern there. And after that, Tricky was such a big head, like the silhouette's not super clean. I think for this, I would have a potentially different acting. And she goes, Arr! again, for me, like, what could you do? Like, this is your big moment of outburst and something. How would a kid react to this? Could she, like I said, maybe hold on to the table, stomp her legs? Could she ah, bite into the side of the table? Could she pull on her hair? Is there anything you can do that will go beyond that almost twins mirrored pose? That's a bit more original. I know it's one of those lazy feedback things, like be more original. <laughs> but that's just something. I think you have such a great opportunity here to show her personality. And this is a bit default, a bit simple. I think you could do a bit more. Even if it's just like, ah, and see, she's suddenly so mad. She has so much strength that she... She pushes the table away and then turns away from, from the guy. Um, I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff you could do. So that would be my my last comment, kind of like an open thing for you. Like, Would that be something for you to explore, basically? I think this is a great opportunity to be a bit more original, quote unquote, at the end there with her. All righty. That's that. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.